Hello, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Uh, today, I'm going to tell you a little bit of our story and our mission as BTEC uh, to actually connect companies and individuals with, in Brazil with the rest of the world. I'm not seeing our slides, so maybe I'm without slides for some reason. One second. Technical problems. Usually, one moment. It's changing. Okay. So basically, the, I'm not going to have as cool slides as the last presentation. I'm usually more simple in the slides. Um, and it was a very nice presentation, by the way. Uh, but the idea is to tell how, together with Ripple, we're actually changing the way uh, you know, people and also companies in Brazil connect with the rest of the world. And the reason why we're doing that, that's our mission, is as like, remember why in the last presentation. So we're doing this because we are on a mission to create a world without financial frontiers, connecting companies and individuals in Brazil with the rest of the world. And, and since I was very young and you know, living in Brazil, I always um, felt a little bit frustrated that everything would come out in the US, like video games or electronics would take you know, two, three, sometimes four years to get to Brazil. And when you arrived in Brazil, it would cost twice as much. Later on, I find out that it was not only because of taxes, there's a lot of taxes in Brazil, but also because of like, transactional costs and the challenges of importing goods. I was, later in my life, I, I, I had the pleasure to do college in the US, when I went into economics at the University of Chicago. And when I was studying there, I was very frustrating to actually get the money into the US to pay for college tuition. So, and for books and for my expenses there. So my father would send me $1,000, and usually I would get 900 out of this $1,000 three or four days later. Uh, this is because average spreads in Brazil for individuals for $1,000 transactions are still in the 4 to 8% range. Um, and actually you have transactional costs, like fixed costs like Swift or others, even an incoming wire fee that goes from 40 to $90 in Brazil. Uh, later in my life, I actually graduated and went to, to work in, in financial markets in the U.S., in investment banking, and I had the opportunity to work one year in the U.S. and then transfer back to Brazil and see the difference between the two markets. And I was very impressed by the, how inefficient some solutions in the financial markets in Brazil were, and specifically how concentrated the market in Brazil was. So 84% of the credit market in Brazil are still in the hands of five local large banks in Brazil. So if you are a company or individual looking for credit, you have very few options in Brazil. And of course, the results of this concentration, that this lack of competition, is in the spread in the credit market in Brazil. So the average spread in Brazil is one of the highest in the world. Mm -hmm.